official prediction for Mayweather versus McGregor? Uh, I got Mayweather knocking McGregor in the fifth round. Wow, five. That's all you give him? I give him five. <laughs> because I, I'm the reason why. I watch previous fights. Now, with grappling and wrestling involved, you're able to break, rest, take, take, take a chance to get a breather in. That's a three, five-minute round. Championship's five-five. Usually by the third round, McGregor's really tied up. And he's not really a ground guy per se. He's really a stand-up guy. So sometimes when he goes to the ground, he's really going to give himself a brief. You know, get back, I'm going to go to the hands again. Mm -hmm. So for this fight, going 12 rounds or 10, I don't have a championship fight, but it's probably going to, it's going to probably be 10 rounds. I don't have a championship fight. But, it is. but I don't see McGregor having the, the stamina, the boxing stamina to go to 10, three-minute rounds. Can you rate McGregor? Like when you when you watch his MMA fights, can you rate his boxing skills? Can you look at that and say, yeah, he's, okay. he's on this level? He is like, he's like a, a, not like a high class amateur, he's like somewhere between like a B and C amateur boxer. You see what I'm trying to say? Because he has good eye, he has good hand movement, but he doesn't put the punches and combinations well put, really put together. He'll do one, two pop shots on MMA guys because a lot of MMA guys don't put combinations together. But it's not really going to work on a boxer that's, you know, world renowned or a world class boxer. I put a post on IG. It was a fantasy fight because me and you spoke way back when Spencer was fighting Bundu in Brooklyn about you and Brock Lesnar. You know, because everything is all hot right now with the crossover matches, man. I want to know if that's something you would ever humor, you know, doing a crossover match like that. Because it seems to be like the hot topic now in boxing and MMA. Yeah, most definitely. I mean, I mean, like I said, exposure's right, the money's right. I don't see why not. You know what I mean? I'm going to go in there and hurt my uncles anyway. I spar MMA guys all the time. Yeah. And so first I was supposed to spar Brock Lesnar a couple of years ago when I was like 2-0, and, and it never happened. So, yo, I mean, but uh, I think it's going to happen, though. I think, you know, I, I say it could happen. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And you'd be willing to go over to the octagon to do that? Huh. Or would it have to be in a boxing ring? Or would it have to be halfway, maybe kickboxing? Yeah, yeah, maybe kickboxing. Are we figuring out? You know, I, I don't know. I, I had an itch for MMA a while ago. But my thing is about the freaking gloves. I hate the gloves. The dude's freaking face all the forward ears. Yeah, yeah, the cauliflower. Yeah, man, I can't do it, man. I got an acting career after this boxing career <laughs> is over, man. You know what I mean? So it's just hard to say with the gloves, man. And them just really hurt, though. I spoke people them. They hurt. who don't know, you give them a little bit of your credentials. Everybody knows you're a boxer. What else have you trained? What else are you doing? Uh, I got a blue belt jiu-jitsu. Uh, I own two martial arts schools. Teach, teach MMA and Zumba. I was number one heavy, uh, heavyweight kickboxing record for three years. Record 21-1 with 10 knockouts. I fought K-1. I fought Glory. So uh, you're more, I mean, you could possibly be the first guy who is a heavyweight champ in boxing and go over to UFC. And yeah, that, that, yeah, knock him out real quick. You never know. I mean, like, it, 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 it's the fight world right now is exciting. No matter if it's MMA or boxing right now, the main thing is just you got to be in it to win it. That's all it is. You got to be, you got to be in it to win it. So and that's the main thing we're looking forward. Do you think Floyd has like set the new platform for that now? Like now, a lot more crossover fights are going to happen because this is such a major event. Yeah. Because Adrian Broner kind of called out Nate Diaz, you know, during the press conference. I mean, I that. mean, listen, you know, everybody's going to try to make the extra money the way they can. The main thing is like this: very few can do it. I mean, if UFC gonna bite or the fans gonna bite, the whole point is that the fans gonna bite. You know what I mean? I, the show times and the UFC, you don't care probably about making the fight. Can they sell? That's all that matters. Can they sell? So I mean, you know, you don't know. Maybe a Nate, a Nate Diaz and an Adrian Broner could sell. You know, you never know.